Good afternoon. My name is Rhonda White from HerChristianBusiness.com. And on Tuesday, I shared uh, several images that had to do with love and romance for Valentine's Day. And those are free, by the way. You can come over and visit my blog if you haven't grabbed those yet uh, to download them for free. Um, then I uh, shared several free ones from the public domain works that you can come over and right click and save to your computer. Um, I wanted to take uh, one of the photos, uh, this one here with the tree, and show you how you can really quickly uh, take your favorite uh, photo editor. A lot of people like PicMonkey. Um, but you can take your photo editor and put your name right on that tree. So I have it already in here. And the first thing you want to do is consider a font that's kind of rustic and simple because you remember if you're going to be carving that in there yourself it's not going to be overly fancy it's going to be kind of rustic looking to begin with so you want a, a font like that and so I'm going to um, pick something out like that then you want to consider what color uh, the texture might be underneath the wood when you start um, chiseling away there so um, I couldn't find any uh, direct color that I really liked, but I'm going to kind of make it a yellowish uh, tint. Let's see. This is the full color here. And so I'm going to put m my name. Let me put Rhonda and then the and sign and then Charles. That's my hubby's name. And so I'm going to put that in the center, make sure I have it centered. And then I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And of course, you know, if I was out there doing this on the tree, it probably wouldn't be 100% um, perfectly horizontal. Um, so I'm going to kind of, oops, went the wrong way there, kind of put it to the side there, kind of tilt it, something that I would do if I was really doing it. Okay. And the outside of the tree is kind of gray, so I'm going to put my text outline as a dark gray there. And, yeah, got it. just the position I want. And then I'm going to um, use the opacity there to kind of lighting, lighten it up until it looks like it's just kind of really there. Okay, and I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger and you can kind of test that out go back and forth and see what looks best I, here's brighter and then I've kind of faded away until it looks like it's really in there and if you, you can even angle it even more if you want okay and then you're ready to save and so I thought I'd just share that little uh, fun tidbit with you today that you can do for uh, Valentine's Day uh, thank you and God bless.